on our way up to uh, the stunning metropolis of Wrexham in North Wales. Started the day in Cardiff to see the one and only bootlegger. Hopefully things are going to get tasty baby. to see what he's like in person so is he the same person that does like the camera or is he just like we were joking before is he just like some posh guy called Keith hello my name's Keith welcome uh, <laughs> welcome to Wrexham but I think I think he's gonna be exactly like we all dreamed him to be I'm absolutely fucking seething again baby and guess who's in the fucking camera, yeah? Okay guys, before we start the video, here's your chance to win a hundred quid. Thanks to our very good friends at the Tips Guide. Best free tips around on the internet. They're legit guys, honestly, I couldn't recommend them more. And every single week they do a hundred to one accumulator. And if you head to their Twitter page, you can see some of the success stories. So here's how to enter. You must be following at the Tips Guide to enter and tweet them with hashtag bootlegger g4j remember to follow the page at the tips guide and while you're there follow us too 18 plus only and please gamble responsibly well <laughs> we have the one and only carl phillips here joined with us he's amassed a huge following nearly 300,000 followers on twitter he's got football clubs football players <laughs> Bloody everyone quoting his stuff. The one and only bootleg is with us. Carl, how's it going, man? You all right? All right, man. Yeah, good, man. Good. Nice to meet you. Oh. <laughs> we were just actually, we uh, we met the landlord, the famous landlord. Yeah. The landlord of the local. The yeah. landlord of the local, yeah. Kev. A, yeah. Kev, good guy, good yeah. guy. The wit chief pub. Yeah. We'll be uh, testing a few beers there. What did you think of it in there? Lovely. Lovely. Swanky. He said. He said to us. He said, "I'm no longer Kev. Okay, I'm no longer that. Even to my family, <laughs> I am bootlegger's landlord now." I, that's it. That's who he is. I, I yeah. love the fact that he he mentioned that he was just on like a day out with his family, and people came up to him. Yeah. And was like, "Hey, you're bootlegger's landlord." <laughs> they recognise you in the middle of Chester. Eh? <laughs> yes, yeah, a dangerous <laughs> place to be. <laughs> Yeah, especially as your landlord. Yeah, mm. but and and, oh. and your mate Alfie exactly the same. He said he yeah, can't yeah. believe what's happening. Yeah. Yeah. He's a good guy. Yeah, yeah. he's sound. He's sound. Yeah, it's, it's funny because like we were speaking to your mate. Uh, you mentioned he lives opposite you, yeah? and they just he's, they just can't believe it. Yeah. They can't believe like I bet you can't believe. Surely you can't believe what's happening. Well, I don't give two flying fucks. <laughs> yeah, dude, to be honest, am I allowed to swear? Yeah, fucking, fucking right. <laughs> Shit, fuck. Yeah. Yeah, Twenty p in the swear yeah, box. Yeah. yeah, I'll give you a quid. Yeah. 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 But if yeah. it was a swear box, it'd be full of the end, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no, Alf, Alfie's a good man. Uh, yeah, exactly. Right. It's, uh, yeah. Yeah. Is he, he your closest mate here? Is or is he like? Yeah, the he's guy that you hang around with a lot. He's probably the closest neighbour you met this evening. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, He said he doesn't hear anything from you over the other side. No, he never hears a peep out of the captain. Apart so, from uh, your old video every now and then. <laughs> every now on a Friday evening. On a Friday evening. Mm. So obviously in the thriving metropolis of Wrexham, are you actually born and bred Wrexham? Born and bred in Wrexham, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Wrexham town. Uh, lived in Cupoyth. Ooh, Jesus Christ, what's this shit? <laughs> <laughs> it's new, we no, don't know. No, it's good, it's actually, it's very nice. Guinness yeah. Pilsner. Gin Guinness Pilsner, yeah. yeah. I like it. Who knew the Irish could do Pilsner, eh? Mm, a little sneaky plug for the Irish, <laughs> I like it. <laughs> That's what we got on it. It's yeah. a fortune. No, yeah. Yeah. So, I'd get, you've been, you've been a Wrexham fan all of your life then, yeah? Um, well, and well, Celtic, you mentioned before, yeah, you but you said you got your Irish. Yeah, get the as well. fucking Celtic down, but <laughs> yeah, we'll have to put the that boys. on. Yeah? We'll have to put that on. Mm. We'll like, get get someone on the phone. For yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah well, you'll let us know how we get how they're getting on. Yeah, I got it on my phone. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. how do, how I got United you, on the phone for me? How so. did you get like interaction? Did it, like the old man take you down there, or is it just like? You just fancy going down as a kid or something? No, no. You know, I'm not. I haven't been watching Wrexham for 
25 years. Yeah. You know, I've only been going hardcore for the last eight, nine years. Right. You know, it's... Um, I used to love going to... I'll be honest, the la when we used to go and watch Wrexham, we used to get in and out, you know, with 20 minutes to go. You know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The old, uh, it doesn't, I don't know whether it happens now, the old steward had opened the door and... Yeah, I mean, I mean, we... I remember I went to a North East Derby, Sunderland, Newcastle. But this is the thing, you miss the, you miss the start of it. You have a good drink and then you forget half the shit that's happened <laughs> in the game. I don't even know what the score is. What's the score again mm -hmm. yesterday? I can't remember. I mean, but yeah, I've been supporting Wrexham for years. Yeah. Only left. Yeah. Yeah. And we mentioned uh, Chester before we started. Um, you know, you mentioned the Derby there. How big is the rest Wrexham Chester Derby? Oh, it's, it's one of the biggest. It's, yeah. uh, I mean, for the intensity, it's it's right up there. Yeah. And I'm talking <laughs> right up there. Yeah. yeah. But uh, a lot of people will look from the outside and think, man, it's a lower league, a lower league derby. People but, don't think that. But, people think lower leagues is going to be not quite as big as a big sort of United yeah, City, United it's Liverpool, it's a league something Liverpool, Liverpool. Yeah. But uh, it's like the rich versus the poor. Yeah. That's the way I see it. Yeah. Um, yeah, I put my head on the chopping block here, but yeah. uh, you know. Well, <laughs> yeah. well, it is what what it means to you. I mean, like, because how does that compare? Because I know you say you've got Celtic roots, but how does that compare to Celtic Rangers? Because yeah. you say there's a lot of hatred between obviously Celtic Rangers, yeah, yeah. and when it comes to Rex and Chester, yeah, is that... there's a, there, there's similar hatred. Yeah, yeah there is, uh, and to be honest, from. Uh, it's never. It always seems to be more from their side, but yeah. I suppose every every fool says that, don't they? Yeah. You know. Yeah. yeah but yeah, Chester, Chester Wrexham is right up there with being tasty. Well, with with regards to that, in terms of your away days, obviously you've done Chester, and that's a big one. But for your away days, what's the best away day you do? Oh, All you've done in the past. Uh, my favourite away day, and I'm not just saying it, is Wrexham Kidderminster. Is it? Yeah, Why is yeah, that? Why Kidminster? Uh, we went to Wembley, you know. We went to Wembley mm. after the playoff. Um, and one of my most prominent video that I did was Kidderminster versus Wrexham. Yeah. My mate Mark, who, who was drinking the wine outside yeah, there, yeah, yeah. Thing in it, <laughs> he sadly passed away. And I tell you what, you know, looking back at footage like that, yeah, it's... Send shivers down yeah. your spine, that because yeah. uh, I can I can remember it like that. But it's football. It's, yeah, it was right up there because yeah. we knew we were going to Wembley, and it's a big deal. It's a big deal going to to Wembley, especially when you're a smaller club. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah you mentioned like recording at football games there. I think like you know I might be wrong here. Uh, well, the way I first came about you was. Uh, you know, the my spidey senses tell me things are gonna get fucking tasty, baby. Oh, yeah. was, and, uh, that, was that the five fingered the heathen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the yeah, sixth so finger. Yeah. I know, but that was obviously it was the Rex and Chester Derby, mm. and you know, was it? Did you ever think like while recording that? Why recording that? Like when you uttered those words, then my spidey senses tell me things are gonna be tasty, baby. That that moment in your life would be just propel you to just like a weird internet star then? Straight through the air, baby, <laughs> 100 and No, no. I mean, th moments like that, uh, straight down the line, yeah. there's, uh, it's emotion, it's adrenaline. Yeah. Uh, how can you make them words? Yeah. You know. Yeah. It's not planned, is what you're saying. That none of that. Nothing was, was ever planned with the with bootlegging and bootlegging and MOTD. Yeah. The we never used to plan anything. Ooh, oh, pills, isn't it? <laughs> Get us. <laughs> um, to be fair, uh, you can't plan these type of things, you know. But with the bootlegging and MOTD, the thing I like, I really used to enjoy was enticing. Real football fans, you know, lads who yeah. knew, uh, who knew the game inside out. They yeah. probably seen more of the game than me, to yeah, be yeah, honest, because yeah, yeah. I'd had enough. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, and the, but when you get informative feedback, 
to a man, a weird, bug-eyed guy, you know. I know the feeling. <laughs> <laughs> Look you at those fuckers, I'll tell you mate. what, uh, you, you should have, have an eye off. like me. <laughs> no, you probably, you probably should have an eye off, mate. <laughs> Fucking scary today. I'd win. I'd win. I'd win. I'd win. Yeah. Yeah. Were, you, were you surprised by, like, the phenomena that you, you created? Like, no other football fan, journalist in Wales has anywhere near the following that you have? Do you know what I mean? Like, surely, like, you... You would have obviously never thought that it would be what it is now. Like, it's crazy. Yeah, see, I don't, I don't understand crazy. No? <laughs> <laughs> it's just second yeah, nature. Um, have we got yeah. a bottle opener? A bottle yeah, there's a bottle opener. Oh, right. really, you know, yeah. The captain's just... Yeah. <laughs> I saw you finish one. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I like, don't understand the word crazy, baby. No. <laughs> but, like, no, surely it must, like, surprise you, like... Looking back a few years, you know, what what was your Twitter following, let's say, two years ago? 5,000. And it's 258,000 now? Yeah, yeah but numbers are, numbers are all in the air, don't they? <laughs> you know, yeah, it's, but surely, it's all about surrounding yourself with the, the right people and as connecting. We, fair, and as connecting. We've seen, as we've seen, like, in, in the you've, local... You've been everyone, there, mate. Everyone, everyone loves you there, but no one really. It was weird. When we were there, they, they didn't really see you as sort of a bootlegger. Your car, your you're car, the local. Yeah. I was Mate, speaking to one of the guys. He didn't even know anything about what what was going on. He didn't. Know. He was an older guy, to be fair. I don't know if he knew what was going on in he general. Just, he, didn't, and he didn't know that it was kind of that big. You had that yeah. bigger following. You reached that many people. The people coming up to you calling you the celebrity. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The celebrity. Well, yeah. That's it. No. I I know. Like you say, numbers don't mean anything. Like I completely believe you when you say that. But 258,000 people, that's 258,000 people who genuinely love your shit. They look mm. forward to your content. Mm. And in a way, like, I know you're being modest about it, but that must mean so much that there's 256,000 people, 258,000 people. That's like, that's like three new camps mm. waiting constantly for new well, bootleg let, let, stuff. Let, let's, t- let's fill 10 new camps and then you'll know about it, baby. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the way to think. I mean, yeah. with, with it, like you said, you know, it's not planned. Mm-hmm. And so when you come to like filming yourself and you put a video out there, how much thought goes into it? Do you just go, right, okay, here's the camera, bang, yeah, you're on it, yeah, or do yeah, you yeah. go... I'm, I, 90, 95% is impulse. Right. You know, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you've seen me pull, pulling them bloody kegs, you know, on a yeah, Friday, yeah, yeah, yeah. twirling around in the yeah. back kitchen. Yeah. You know, uh, how many takes can I get at that? That's you know? true. Yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> I've, had it, I've had it a couple of times when I've absolutely fucking, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> absolutely worry, nailed it and, I'm, <laughs> and the battery's gone just before I'm about yeah, to say oh, something. Like, and then you've got to do it again. You know, the fucking charge the thing, I've had another. Four to five pills, and then yeah. but, but, well, you can't even see your phone, man. <laughs> to be fair, but, we know that feeling when we <laughs> when, when, it, when it's gone yeah. and we have to record. The amount of times yeah. where we've had it, where something has a technical fault, and we've got to do it all over again. You just mm. got to do it. You got to do it because mm. you know we have people waiting on our stuff. You have a lot more people waiting on your I'm stuff. Not, you know, yeah. do do you do you get do you get stopped in the street? Speak much. People asking for selfies. I, I know autographs. Yeah, sorry, autograph, sorry. Autographs now are a thing of the past, I guess. The selfie is the modern yeah. autograph. Mm-hmm. But you get a lot of people coming up yeah, to you? Yeah, I get a lot of selfies. I like it. What I like about the selfies, and <laughs> what I like about the selfies, is it's really good. People make it, you can see them mooching in for the, for the quickie. You see them behind. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, so you can clock them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I can see it's like an old spider on the wall, isn't it? You know, <laughs> a fucking nice size nine out in a minute. <laughs> Um, and the old lad sneaks in, you know, and to, let's be honest about it, if somebody wants a selfie, it's not a problem. No. You know, they get the selfie, though, and as soon as they got the selfie, that's it, fuck the captain, I'm off to really? me to tell them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. The lads, are, the lads are good and they've treated the captain Brilliant. well. Yeah. Um, you know, you mentioned, like, I know a lot of, I've, I've read a lot of interviews with celebrities where, like, people will take a selfie with you, and after they've taken a selfie and they, they bugger off, it wouldn't it be nice if they just like stayed around for a bit of a chat, like you know. Well, you know I mean? it would be nice, but uh, when you've got the flame through it at the side here, <laughs> I don't think yeah. she'd enjoy that no, one, would she? <laughs> <laughs> you yeah, she wouldn't make it for five minutes. Oh, 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 it's me. Oh, oh, oh. Charlie, the technician. I don't want to touch you, Captain. Let's get him in. <laughs> to be fair, I'm the same. I don't want to touch anything. 
Be mindful of Mike, like yeah. just try yeah. like, yeah, 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 there you go, he knows the score. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't want to do that. <laughs> you mentioned uh, the flamethrower there, um, obviously that's your missus, Are you guys married? Uh, living in sin, I'll be honest. Living with you. in sin, that's fine by living me, buddy. Sin. If my nan was alive, there's no way I'd be living in no. sin. <laughs> what bug is gone? And She'd make uh, sure of it, though. She'd make sure you oh, were no, married. The, there'd have been no way I'd yeah. have been uh, in the council flat with the flamethrower. No. <laughs> so, does she, does she mind being called the flamethrower? No. I mean... She got, not, she got banter about her. It's, it's banter. Yeah. It's banter. Claire, her name is, and she is my, fa- my finest... Uh, compatriots, shall we call it? Yeah. Uh, without her, I wouldn't be here today. Oh, what, nice. did, what does she think of everything? Because obviously we met your mates, and and they can't believe it. What she, what's, what's she mean, make of it? Like I say, she doesn't take any notice. Is she not? Well, listen seriously. No. She's not bothered. She's more bothered about fit, uh, looking after my son, Ewan. Ewan. Really? Yeah. And uh, the, she laughs. She's just, oh, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> whatever. So, so when you're recording these videos, and um, Claire's obviously in the videos, is it, she must be used to it now, and she must, yeah. she must, she must, um, she must know the yeah, problem. Yeah, you need to go back to the early, to the early ring stings in Goa and that. When, yeah. when you were filming yeah. your holidays and all yeah, that on it, YouTube. It was yeah. just filming, the, blogging the holiday. Yeah. So why were, why, why were you doing that? Did you just want to, like, remember... Because I, I went to Bruges recently with my missus and I recorded everything. I came back. Yeah, yeah. And I was amazing just watching all the footage back. Yeah, yeah. The, it, it, it's and I'm so glad that is it. You know, I'm, memories, but, man. But it, it's but yeah. I got that GoPro. Yeah, I got the GoPro. I went in the swanky GoPro. <laughs> the, the spike. Yeah, I was never like that. Yeah, GoPro yeah. talked to me. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> no, I'll be honest. Ring sting. I think they done on an iPhone. And uh, the, it was just it was to document our holiday and our good times, yeah, yeah, you yeah. know. Because me and Rather Claire than put it out there, it was yeah, more for yeah, yourself. Yeah, I mean, I come back and string string it all along, and the ring stinging go I come. Yeah, yeah. You know, red doesn't sound good. Ring stinging go, does it? <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> but. Um, yeah, it was to document over good times, and yeah. I, lo- I I watch that video at least once a month. Really? Yeah, yeah just, oh, it's, just, nice. it's just nice to. Yeah. A lot of people have said I was racist in them videos. Um, you know, like yeah, where did that like how did how did you because obviously you get you're gonna get a lot of people who love you, but also you're gonna get people who yeah. kind of will give you a bit of stick. And, for I, what you're and doing. to be fair, I doubt you when you made those videos, tens of thousands of people would end up watching them. You know? Yeah, no, no. But, I never cared who'd watch them. It was to mm, document yeah. our yeah. travels, and I, and that's why we did them. Yeah. Yeah. To be honest, Sean, I'll be Gareth. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Carl. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Charlie. Well, uh, Alex. Alex, take one for the team, in it, lads. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 no, it, it really. I'm, and anybody. I mean, I went to India, mate, and yeah. I was talking with a with a daft accent. Yeah. You know. I go to Greece. I was talking with a daft accent. Of course. You know, I was going to Spain. I was talking with a graft, daft accent. Yeah. I'm going local. I'm talking yeah, with yeah, a yeah. daft accent. Yeah. You know, mm. it's, there's nothing more than that. It was just like you, you're yeah, having a laugh. You're in the place. There, that you're in. There's always people who will look in underneath what you've got and, yeah, uh, that's and, the problem, and make something else about it. Do you reckon like the more popular you've got now? We mentioned the phone you have. The more popular you get, the more careful you are. Were saying things, or do you just you, do, you don't care? You're still the same old bootlegger from your. Do you ago. really think I'm popular? Of course you are, man. <laughs> Two hundred and sixty I mean, thousand followers in the pub. You are. You're hey. everyone, everyone knows who you are. But you are uncategorically possibly the hottest property in Wales right now, Carl. Well, bring it on, baby. I'm going up a frigging ladder every fucking morning. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you said you had a gruller today, to be fair. Yeah. Yeah. And I've got the old Adidas on, baby. Yeah. Get that one on. <laughs> yeah, well, we... Um... <laughs> yeah, you know, we, 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 we talked to you on the phone for the interview and you said that you had an absolute gruller today. You yeah, know, like, like right like, pain in the ass today. you, you got to do what you got to do to pay the bills and all that. Yeah. We're, we're all in that set of circumstance. Like, but... Do you ever see a way after that? Do you see a future in media or something like that? A way out of it? 
Mm. You know, I think I've got more to offer to yeah. the masses. And yeah. uh, I'm not just saying it. Mm-hmm. I think where that masses is, I don't know. But I think, yeah, the captain's too good to be going up and down a ladder in frigging the fruit or whatever yeah. it is, you know, yeah. getting his ass sucked. Yeah. <laughs> but in a, in a perverse way, like you think... Oh, I he, like he, that, he, perverse. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Do you think people... Very highbrow. Very highbrow, yeah. <laughs> As we, as we always say. Do you think people like seeing what you are now? They love, like, a lot of people identify with you. Do you know what I mean? You're, you're one of us kind of thing. You're one of the working class guys, the Welsh guy, and people love you for that. I'm one of the lads, yeah. right? You've seen it yourself. There's no airs or graces in my local. No. I am Cal. Yeah. And I'm yeah, not the captain, not the bootleg, and I'm Cal. And I want to make a living yeah. I love doing this baby yeah it? you know yeah. not that <laughs> but what, what what was nice is that when we're in there they don't speak to you they don't speak to you like as in your boot like your car and they like yeah. you for that yeah that, like, that, you know what I mean? that's a real local mate yeah that's what you call a local yeah. a local boozer yeah you know yeah. who wants who wants everybody shaking your hand every night yeah yeah. Yeah. You've seen it, I couldn't even get a fucking light in there. No, no. Well, <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> yeah. he is, he hasn't even got a fucking light. <laughs> but that's why you see, like, you know, famous people. Like, I, I've heard stories of, like, Paul Gascoigne, you know, Ricky Hatton, the boxer. You know, they always end up going back to their old boozers because those are the people that know them for who they are. Yeah. They have, they're, they're, they're your family. They're, you have to keep, keep your fans close. You, know, mm-hmm. you have to keep your family close. Mm-hmm. And I'm not just saying close, closer yeah. than all the other rats that yeah. will put people down. And I, you've seen this thing with Caroline Flack. Yeah. That, that, that come out. And yeah. you, know, you don't mind me saying that, do no, you? No, no, no. It's, 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 it's important to talk about, Carl. But, really important to talk about. You know, like cyber. I don't like watching East End, uh, Emmerdale Farm, right? The missus loves watching Emmerdale film, yeah. right? But if I'm on that settee, baby, that I get the fucking remote control and I ain't watching Emmerdale film, right? Because I don't like it. Yeah. But I'm not going on really Twitter or Facebook or anything and saying, yeah. I don't like Emmerdale yeah, film. 100%. You know, uh, I don't watch it. Yeah. But I get, I get loads of hatred of people... Um, like Caroline Flack, the yeah. shit that come with all that, the me, the way the media ganged up on that, on that woman. Yeah, it's horrible. And well, well, it's a good question. Is how have you experienced that? Because obviously, the more people that see your stuff, the more people that like you. But also, you're going to get that that portion of people, yeah, like you said, yeah, who I'm don't. Not, I'm not everybody's cup of tea, and yeah. you know, like I say, Everybody. look at my face, baby. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, what do you think? You know, it's not the more. I'm not. I'm never going to be in Kay's catalogue, am I? I don't know. You know? But do, but do people give you? Uh, <laughs> no, do, I don't know. Adidas baby. Adidas baby. <laughs> do people like send you messages of hate, or is it just kind of like a bit nah. more low key? Nah, you... no. Nah. I mean, the stuff I do on Twitter, it comes through. I try and filter it out. Mm-hmm. There's there's two or three. You don't mind me saying this. But there's only one word I friggin' hate. You know, you can call me Gollum, Tony Black. You know, yeah. it's all banter. Yeah, yeah, Come on, yeah. I'll love it. But never call me a nonce because I'm a father. Yeah, you know. Yeah, and I whenever that shit comes on, them that's what gets you. Oh no, 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 no. Like it get, it strikes a nerve because yeah. you wouldn't. If you had kids, you wouldn't say that word. No, no, of course. It's disgusting. Yeah. You wouldn't say yeah. that word. You wouldn't say that word. Yeah. You wouldn't say that word <laughs> if you had kids. But there's people out there that say them words. Yeah. Um, do, do, they, do they just think it's like, it's become such a parody now, like the word nonce has become almost like ineffective. It's just yeah. a useless insult. Mm. But like people don't realise... You don't like, realise the gravity as, of what you're saying. As a father, saying. that can... Yeah, that's, yeah. that's not right. But I only... To be fair, I'm only getting a small minority. Little stigma. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm only getting a little bit of of hate. Um, <laughs> it does hurt you. It yeah. does hurt you. But that one, I can be called any name under the sun, but mm-hmm. don't call me a nonce yeah. because. And, yeah. 
<laughs> you know, I'm a father. Yeah. Um, you uh, you wouldn't say that word. No, if you, were, if you had kids. Yeah. The, you, know, you know, when when you're getting those comments, it's like no matter who you are, how nice you are, like you know, how powerful you are, whatever, like you're. Oh, I bet Barack Obama with his 180 million followers gets his fair share of people saying horrible yeah, things about yeah. him. Like, at the end of the day, like, I know from watching your stuff, you're a harmless character, a really nice guy. Yeah. There's always people hiding behind yeah. football player images as their Twitter avatars. Yeah. They they're, just they're, want to abuse uh, you. Uh, Barack Obama, man, have 180,000, baby. 108 million, yeah. man. <laughs> hey, You'll be there 180 soon. 180 million. Fuck that shit. <laughs> but, yeah, he, ha he hasn't got the time to reply. I actually sit on my Twitter account. No, I love it. I love the bat. I've, yeah. I've made some good, good friends and yeah. good contacts, actually. You know, um, so you've got mates in Scotland from Facebook. Oh, mate, like I've got the, uh, the lads from here. Give them a big yeah. shout out. Cause, yeah. Uh, yeah. But there's people... There's always good people going to try and grind you down. Yeah, course, um, yeah. I want to, I want to surround myself by people, good guys like yourself, yeah. who are out to promote good life. Yeah, you know, show things what people want to see, and not, yeah, not try and keep putting, put, put, putting people down all the fucking yeah. time. You know, like they do with that poor. Poor Caroline Flack. I mean, the me, the media. We love the media. And I want to make strides into the media, mm -hmm. but I'll tell you what. I wouldn't be negative like some of this media people have been. No. And no. I'm telling you now. Yeah. Would you Would you strive to be no, negative? Is, but no. The problem that you've got is the most clicks, and particularly on Twitter, is that you get the most clicks or you get the most kind of traction off negative things. And what's actually nice, to be fair, is is about yours. Is everything's positive. Yeah. Everything's having a laugh. Everything's kind of jovial. It's, it's, you're right. And you're you've, right. Got, you've got two hundred, yeah. whatever, nearly three hundred thousand people who all enjoy your stuff because it's so positive. And do you know what? So, so many people yeah. who, who I've spoken to have watched uh, <laughs> the Bootlegger wherever they've watched it. Like everyone always has a positive thing to say about you. Like I've never heard someone say, "Oh yeah, that guy is a twat." Yeah, I've, yeah. Ne I've never. That guy heard is. That. Yeah, he's just. Did, oh, he's always preaching his fucking <laughs> opinions or some shit. I've never yeah. heard that. It's just. I think the reason people love you, Carl, is like you're just trying to live your best life. You're trying to have a good time. That's what you're about. Well, we're, we're only here once, Kevin. Mm. Yeah. We're here once. And if we don't live today, we might not see tomorrow. Yeah. You know, um, I know it sounds a bit poetic, that type of shit. But uh, it is. Yeah, it's right. right. You know, fuck all these hate. Fuck the haters. You don't mind me saying that, do you? <laughs> no, fuck that. F the haters yeah. and all this shit. You know, I mean, I love to travel. You know, <laughs> I haven't travelled for three years proper because me, my son was born. Yeah. You know, um, when you get kids, you know, they calm you down. Yeah. And I just, uh, it was like a gift from God, you and coming. Yeah. For me, because he can me right is he, is he three now, you say? He he's he's actually five in Geelong. Right. Uh, yeah. But it was three years since I'd been away. Yeah. And because uh, me and Clyde would be away every winter, travelling Asia, going yeah. Thailand, yeah. you know, we, we used to like having the the fancy free getaway for the winter. Yeah. It's all this shit. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get away and just... Do it, baby. But, um, it, but it levels you now. Now you've got your kid, and mate, it has to. Yeah. You know who's gonna look after my son when I go to work? Yeah. Claire works shifts. Yeah. Uh, flamethrower. Flamethrower. <laughs> oh, poor bugger. <laughs> um, you know, like life's so hard. It's hard yeah. when you want to uh, when you want to level. But I mean, I'm forty five. Yeah. I'm not. A, you know, I'm not a, a spring chicken anymore. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, I ain't no spring chicken. Uh, I'm doing what I should have done, perhaps in, in my mid twenties. But life's what it is. Mm. Yeah, I mean, Before it never, never would have worked out for you if you'd have done it earlier. I mean, the, the, well, the stage you got now is you know, different. If I'd have had you when I was twenty five, I was bouncing down, up and down on the spot in yeah, fucking yeah. cream, baby. Yeah, yeah. You know, all yeah, five better. one yeah. speckled doves. You know the crack. <laughs> we were, we were no angels. No. You know, no. it was life. We've got a game, we've got a couple of games we want to play with you today. Uh, one is called Two Lies and a Truth. 
Yeah. Okay, and this is something that we do in the GoPro to Jumpers podcast. Very popular feature. Two Alex. lies and a truth. Two yeah, lies and a truth. With a, with a twist yeah. this week. So a twist, basically, <laughs> Carl, this is where we say, well, I say, I've got three stories. One of them is true, two of them are lies. These are football-based stories, mm. and you've basically got to guess which one's true. Yeah? So, right. three stories, <laughs> two lies, one true. Now, this week, okay. I've got it a little bit different. We've got five stories. Oh, fuck me. Five Actually, stories. You're trying to confuse me now, Kev. Jesus. <laughs> and you've got to guess which it's ones are true. Three. I know. But I thought you've got two of you this week, so okay. you okay. should be able to put your okay. expertise, your minds together, <laughs> and come up with the right answer. We're in the fucking same boat here, Carlos. I'm going to read you these stories. You've got to guess which one's true. Okay. It's all about football, and this week it's about football bad boys. Okay. okay. Football bad boys. Football, football bad, bad boys. boys. Okay. I'm going to read you the title, then I'll read you the story. The first one is Oh Pack It In. This is former Wrexham player. Sir Alex Ferguson's brother, Darren Ferguson, once packed his estranged wife into a suitcase after an argument. What? First story. First story. Keep that in the bank. Okay. Second story. What a tosser. Ex-Chelsea striker Neil Shipley was charged after being found guilty of publicly wanking in front of two women. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. yeah, well, I could believe that. Yeah. <laughs> story number three. <laughs> counter-attack match fit. Former Manchester United midfielder Mickey Thomas was charged for counterfeit after passing out a series of fake banknotes to the young apprentices at Wrexham <laughs> during his time there. Now, I know that there might be stories that Carl might know or might know something similar. Fourth story. Mm. The Great Escape. Mallorca striker Jorge Alves is currently on the run from Spanish authorities after... Police raided his apartment and found a group of illegal monkeys in his bed. <laughs> <laughs> and story number five Bullshit. is Brazil. Racist! That- <laughs> you're racist! What? <laughs> get him. I thought I'd Racist! I thought I'd <laughs> Book him! Former Flamengo player Bruno das Dores de Souza was denied his dream move to AC Milan after negotiations break de- broke down when the Brazilian was charged and jailed for feeding his mistress to his dogs. The 35-year-old is still serving a 22-year prison sentence. Right, we've got two stories in there. Five stories, you've got to guess which one, which were a couple are true. Right, so two are true and three are lies. So we've got the Wrexham player, which everyone knows him as Darren Ferguson, packed his wife into a suitcase. Okay. What are we thinking of that? Is that true? I I don't know. Do you see him doing it? I know, I know his dad's a a staunch authoritarian. Yeah, I thought it in. But packing um, someone into a suitcase, did no. you? No. I don't think that's true. You don't think that's true? What do you think? I don't know, it's so mental I am inclined to believe it. I don't know what you could <laughs> like you couldn't come up no. with that like and think I wouldn't think it was true. Do you know what I mean? It's like Are you gonna go with Carl on this one? Are you gonna say it's not true? I don't know, I'm keeping it in the bag. You're keeping it in the bag. Okay, so Neil Shipperley, ex Chelsea striker, being found guilty of publicly wanking in front no. of two women. Could he have done that? Neil Shipperley. Who is he? Fucking Louis Crystal Chiquet. Palace, Chelsea. Yeah, he's... You remember him? I mean... the late 90s. Do you know what? I'm, I think that one's true. You think that one's true? Yeah. You know what? I'd have a favour on it. <laughs> yeah. I'd have a favour on that one, Kim. And then we've got Mickey Thomas. I mean, obviously, Wrexham legends, you'll know him. Um, counterfeit notes. You pass them out amongst the academy players. Do you think he could have done that? I mean... <laughs> I, I, is the pay so bad at Wrexham to... Well, I mean, this is a guy who's played for Manchester United. I mean, surely not. No. Right. no. Footballers, they're into weird things. Footballers, they don't Let's rule it out, Carl. Come on. I'm going to rule no, it out. It, it, was, it had nothing to do with Mickey. No. Nothing to do with Mickey. Mickey. Don't you take Mickey's, Mickey's name in vain, Mickey's mate. Innocent. Mickey had been in Weatherspoons that afternoon <laughs> yeah. and was wrongly given change out of a 50 pound note. Right, <laughs> Carl thinks he's innocent. <laughs> the bootlegger thinks he's innocent. <laughs> and then we've got I'm the um, we've got the Spanish striker that is uh, supposedly had three illegal monkeys in his bed. Uh, right, I'm going. I'm loving this. My <laughs> <laughs> right, do you want to know my two two true stories? Okay, yeah, but don't forget the Brazil um, the Brazil guy who and his wife fed to his dogs. What on purpose? Well, yeah. <laughs> what was his name? 
His name was, oh, don't make me say it again, Bruno de Stores de Silza. Mm. Nah, he's made that up, trust me, he's made that up. <laughs> he's made that up. Mm. Are you going to say, okay, so you, you think, right. I write, I'm, I'm, I'm going for uh, Shipperley. You reckon Shipperley? Shipperley. I'm going with uh, the wanking in front of people and uh, the counterfeit. The counterfeit, yeah. <laughs> well, do you want to know the answers? Yeah, go on. Okay. You're going to shock me now, aren't you? <laughs> Ready? Dun, dun, Ready? Dun, dun, dun. Darren Western. Ferguson did not pack his wife into a suitcase. Yes. Shot. Neil Shipperley did get charged for publicly wanking in front of two women. Yes, he. There you are. We got it, Captain. Yeah. Mickey Thomas. Now you thought he was innocent. He was. He was innocent. Not so innocent. Mickey Thomas was charged after passing out no. a series of fake banknotes. No. Wait. No. It was a, <laughs> mis- I don't know a miscarriage <laughs> of justice. <laughs> That's what that was. He's a good mate of mine, Mickey, isn't it, Mickey? Mickey. Uh, one for you, Captain. I'll take one for the team. Here's one for Mickey, Captain. <laughs> uh, the Great Escape. The Great Escape was the monkeys in the bed. That wasn't true. There was no monkeys. There was no striker called Jorge Alaves. Oh, wow. What was true, which is the most distressing thing, was uh, Bruno de Torres de Sosa did feed his wife or his mistress to his dogs. To oh, his dogs? Oh, my Yes. He was about to oh move to AC God. Milan. He was about to move to AC Milan. Negotiations broke down once he got charged with it. He got sent to prison 22 years. He's in there. Mm. I'm not surprised. He fed fucking his fucking flamethrower to a dog. I think, <laughs> I think he was in the middle. His flamethrower. <laughs> I think he was in the middle of some gang-related shit. And then that's him. That's well, him done. There's two lines and a truth. Well done. Lovely. Hey, yeah, should we have stuff. a piss break? Yes, yeah, we should. Yeah, yeah, you fuck. I can I'll read, I'll I'll read, I'll 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 read his fucking mind. <laughs> I've got, I've got a, uh, I've got a big question. Actually, I'm really like, as a fan of the show, excited to ask you. You're actually with the odds, boys, the odds checkers, fifty to one right now to go into. I'm a celebrity. Get me out get of here. Get that this. right. Get yeah. on Sky Bet, baby. I'm twenty-two to one. Sky down twenty-two to one. Twenty-two to one. That's because people Skybet. are fucking lumping you... odds like me, mate. I, I chuck five on it. I are you a, are you a better man? Uh, yes. Yeah, I am always a betting man. Would it be worth a tenner? Uh, well, it'd be worth a pound. It would be worth a quid. <laughs> worth a quid. <laughs> the way I look at it, right... Um, it'd be worth a pound, really. There's, <laughs> there's been people on I'm a Celebrity. <laughs> he's gone. He's gone. He's gone. He's he's gone. gone. He's gone. <laughs> I'll take this and he's gone. Are he you can't handle it. <laughs> he's off it. I love it. But there's been people on I'm a Celebrity back in the day who are like... Someone has shagged like Gail from Coronation Street has been on there. <laughs> Pat Butcher, I'd be straight into her, baby. <laughs> yeah, she's a tasty one, baby. I'll yeah. say that right Couple now. Of Jean, she's, oh. the, she's the captain. <laughs> <laughs> but like, you know, there's been people on there that are way less famous than you are, Captain. I'm saying that Listen, right now. Would the you captain do isn't famous. The I think you are. No, I am nowhere near. You're famous to me. The, the Kirk Douglas. Thing. Yeah. yeah. So, so, I, am I am famous. Would you do it? Of course you would. You'd yeah. be shredding them. Yeah. Do you think like, you know, I've watched I'm a Celebrity for years and like, do you think, how would you fare like, forget like the whole cameras and stuff. Do you reckon you'd enjoy being in the jungle? I'm, I'm, from, the, I'm from the jungle. The baby. Wrexham jungle. I'm from the jungle. I am from there, you know. But I mean, obviously, it's a it's a big thing where you're, obviously you've got a lot of people who see what you do now. That be a, the next level if you did it. Would you be prepared for that? Would you want to put yourself through that? I do anything for my family. Yeah. Yeah. Anything. Yeah. You know, uh, it's been a long hard winter, yeah. and you know how hard this winter has been. Welsh winters, mate. Storm Dennis. No, no, Fuck no, Storm is, Dennis. But this has been the the longest, hardest, wettest winter been that bad. the captain in his working career has ever, ever, ever known. Yeah. And fuck this shit. Yeah. Fuck, <laughs> this shit. Fuck, fuck this shit. Fuck this shit. Fuck this shit. If you're cool, come fuck this you're shit. There. Yeah. You're oh, there, yeah, you're yeah. If there. they want me to parachute out the thingy, yeah, you're... I'm going to do it, baby. You imagine these <laughs> eyes flying at you. <laughs> but, like, like, honestly, like, it's, it's, 
It would be mental. Like, but the old Adidas on as well, B. You've got to keep them on. That's, that's, that's a stipulation. I'll go in if I can keep my fucking can Adidas wear. on. <laughs> if I can wear the gazelles, I'm in. I'm there. Yeah. But, like, it's, it's, I, the, the reason I think you should go in... <laughs> the reason I think you should go in is because, like, in terms of their audience, in terms of an ITV audience, like, you would be bringing a whole new audience to the show. Yeah. 260,000 football fans... You know, a lot of them wouldn't typically watch I'm a Celebrity. I know for a fact, I haven't watched it for a few years. If you were in I'm a Celebrity, mate, I'd be in there every week. Listen, if I went in I, I'm, I'm a Celebrity, I'd win the fuck it. You reckon? <laughs> yeah, oh, I reckon that, you would as I'd, well. I'd, I'd give it my best shot. I reckon yeah. you would as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I don't I, eat many bananas, but... Nah. Uh, <laughs> you'd, have to, you'd have to go, what, four weeks, is it? Four weeks. With no pills, man. Could you do that's, it? That's going to be the hardest thing. Yeah, Could you do it? Well, you done it for uh, Stocktober. I done it for Stocktober, and like, I'm glad you brought that up, lads. Because yeah. I tell you what, just under eight thousand. Eight thousand pounds uh, raised. Yeah. Uh, that was, uh, that was eight, uh, eight It's not mega. It's I'm not mega. It's that's a lot of money. Who did that go to? What that went Brilliant. to Macmillan Cancer Nurses, oh, well done. which was Brilliant. close to me because. Me nan, you know, yeah. they looked after me nan and all that type yeah. of thing. But yeah, yeah. the captain in I'm a Celebrity, yeah. what do you reckon? Oh, I'd love it. <laughs> I, I, would do it. I would love it. I watch it every year, but I would love it if you were yeah. in it. I don't yeah. normally vote on the show. I don't know. I didn't realise people actually vote, but I, I would be voting yeah. 100%. To just keep going, it's entertainment. Yeah. And like, you know, you mentioned Stoptober there. How hard was it? Like, you know, like for me personally, like, just a month off, just you know, having a social beer on the weekend. You know, fuck that shit. I'll be honest with you. The first two weeks was living hell. Really? Was it? Oh, living hell. But uh, I spent the la- uh, the other two weeks playing the patio doors, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. No, no. Uh, it, 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 you, I become used when I seen the money coming into it. Yeah. It really, it really did strike, strike a nerve with the captain, yeah. and I thought, you know, I'm gonna have to keep keep at this. And the flamethrower will <laughs> tell you, yeah. she's sitting on the settee drinking frigging wine. Oh, she didn't join in with you. Oh no, oh. did she? Frick, I tell you what, I she fucking, made it hard for you. Yeah, she made it hard. Made you work for it. Yeah, she, she's drinking bloody wine, and then I am stood by the patio <laughs> doors freezing. <laughs> I know what you mean. Did you, uh, mean. did you ever have like an urge? To, <laughs> like, did you ever have an urge to think, do you know what? Fuck this shit. Like, I just want a pint. No, no. you know what? It it taught me that I've got control. Yeah. No, and you'd never think I could have control, would you? You know, look at me. You know, how the hell can I have control, baby? <laughs> but, for, but for the right reasons, you thought, right, no, I'm no, mate. Miss the there was lads putting in also uh, a pound, under two hundred and fifty pounds. Somebody put in. Who the fuck it? That, who the fuck put two hundred and fifty? You don't know who it was. Whoever it is, write in. Let us know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. I was touched, and I really did. And you know what? I felt better. I, I felt I was up. I was more alert. Yeah. Um, it, it worked. It worked for me. How, so do, you, how did does it that f- mean you're going to do it again next October? Well, I tr- I purposely try not to drink in the week, and then right. Mm, Apart from a, tonight, where it's a goalpost for jumpers, yeah. 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 but I like goalposts for jumpers. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, it's a goalpost for jumpers, yeah. baby. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is this is a good podcast, and I. I'm enjoying just, just chatting shit. Being a, yeah, chatting shit. Because you've, ne- you've never done a sit down interview. You never really spoke. You've you've obviously put loads of video content out, but you've never been there and just gone. Okay, I'm gonna explain who I am and the way who, I the, who the hell wants to know about fucking me? You would be shocked. The me, mate. People. Hundred percent. I mean, me myself, but Charlie, mate. The response. Everyone. The response people. people. <laughs> yeah, not, the amount of people that have messaged me forget about the, the numbers podcast, just asking look can you please ask him this can you please ask him this and it's like it's mental I've, our podcast has never had interaction like it before people want to hear from you mm-hmm. 
Yeah. Well, the captain's here to stay. I mean, I drink in the wheat chief, you yeah. know. <laughs> if you want to come up to Wrexham and anybody come, ever comes to Wrexham, they let me know. Yeah. I'll look up. Yeah, you I know. mean, he, he, he will look after you, and we're going to look after him in Bristol. In 100%. Yeah. We're going to take oh, 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 are you going to take me down to Bristol? 100%. Oh, you're, you're coming out. Bristol, you're coming out. You have you're got to take out. me you're to Bristol, out. baby. You're coming out of Bristol. <laughs> you're doing a Cardiff night out as well. Mm-hmm. Come to a Cardiff game, I'll look after you. Twat. Twat. I've got another game to play with you. Final game is called. I like these games. It's a very well known feature on the podcast. It's called the Twat List. Okay? So essentially, Carl, what I do is I think of someone in the world of football, it might be current, it might be past, someone who I think, do you know what, he's a bit of a twat. And I'll give you three clues, three cryptic clues, and you've got to try and guess, get in my mind, and think who I have chosen as a twat this week. Are you ready? Okay, yeah. Alex, I'm you ready, ready mate? Because I know how much you love this. Yeah, I'm never feature. ready. I never get this right, so no pressure. Dum, 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 dum. No pressure. So, <laughs> clue number one. Oh, check you out with your Range Rover. I bet you love prawn sandwiches and Boris Johnson too. Okay? Yeah, okay. That's the clue first number clue. one. Oh, check you out with your Range Rover. I bet you love prawn sandwiches and Boris Johnson too. Mm-hmm. Okay? Clue number two. How are you doing? Prawn sandwiches. Is it something to do with prawn sandwiches? <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Clue number two. <laughs> they like that one, Man United. <laughs> yeah, they yeah. fuck it. I think you're onto something there. You know what I'm talking about. Clue number no, two. No, no, no. I don't mind Man United. I like Man United up the, up the fucking reds. <laughs> he loves well, that you just said that. I, like, <laughs> I do. Hey, mate. Um, the father in law would be proud. He's a big stone. He yeah, he said he's a, he's a big United fan. Right, clue number two. I don't want to speak in assembly in front of everyone because of this. Okay? I don't want to speak in assembly in front of everyone because of this. Okay. Okay. I'm going to test your music knowledge. Are you into your dance music? Well, I used to bob up and down on the spot many years no? ago. Yes. <laughs> Clue number three. Urban Cookie Collective might be a secret to some people as a musician, but I hear they definitely have the answer to this clue. They'd have to have the key, wouldn't they? <laughs> Captain? He's yeah. fucking... He's fucking on us! I'm fucking on him! He's on... Mate, me and him on the same wavelength. Uh, he knows what I'm He's on my wavelength, man. Like on, baby. We're, we're switching, Carl, we're switching places. You're going to do the podcast now. He's on my fucking wavelength, baby. I'm just going to sit on the fucking settee and, and say, fuck yeah. this okay. shit. Okay, <laughs> so clue number one. Oh, check you right? out with your yeah. Range Rover. I bet you love prawn sandwiches and Boris Johnson too. What are we thinking for that one? Prawn sandwiches. What's that, what's that associated with? Say that again. What, uh, oh, check you out with your Range Rover. I bet you love prawn sandwiches and Boris Johnson too. What do you associate that stuff with? Man United? No. <laughs> Tory? Close. Conservative? Close, man. You so are... Close. If you're a Tory, you're... Conservative. If you're a Tory slash conservative, you're... You're right. Right wing. He's a right winger. No. Oh, wow. That was that, a great shout. That, that was though. a good shout. That was a good yeah. shout. I don't even fucking know if it's left wing or right wing, but... Uh, yeah, fuck, yeah. fuck the right, left fuck wing, the right wing, as long as you're on the so fucking bonnet, baby. So clue number two. Baby. Clue number two. I don't want to speak in assembly, a very famous nightmare this is. I don't want to speak in assembly in front of everyone because of this. This you, is, this is. You don't want to be... I don't want to speak in front of... you got a stutter. No. you got your, your pants are down. Mm. You, haven't, you, haven't, close. you haven't worn your trousers. You forgot your trousers. Close. I don't want to speak in front of assembly because of this. Right? It's not like and when I was in school. When I, do you know what? Um, I'm going to help him out because you fucking got it straight away, Carl. Honestly, you got it straight away. Urban Cookie Clev uh, might be a secret to some people as a musician, but I hear they definitely have the answer to this clue. Here's to help Alex out. I got the secret. Oh, I don't know who sings this. Yeah, I knew. Urban it, Cookie Collective. Oh, I see. <laughs> oh, can I look? Yeah. 
Mangaloof, baby. How does this help me? <laughs> I got the key. I got the Urban. Seatbelt. You said it. I got the key. Yep. Check you out with your Range Rover. Has you got it? Charlie's got it behind the camera. Is it Keystone Park? Oh, no! <laughs> Keystone Young. No. Right, think about this, think about this. Check you out with your Range Rover. I bet you have prawn sandwiches and Bron Johnson, Boris Johnson too. If you like Boris Johnson and prawn sandwiches, you are... are... Tommy Robinson. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking right, you are. You bunch of cunts. <laughs> <laughs> I have this. What am I doing? What am I doing? Rich. There we go. Yeah. You're rich. Yeah. yeah. You're not working. I don't want to speak in assembly. Of Richard people. Keys. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> He's fucking good. Yes. Okay. So I don't want to speak in front. I got one. <laughs> I don't want to speak in front of assembly because of this. Ardon. Yeah. Oh, for fuck's sake. No, that's not even a clue. It fucking is. Hard, mate. hard. Rich, hard. Rich, hard keys. Who has a hard on at assemblies? You're fucking six years old. <laughs> hey, what, did you never have <laughs> the fucking nightmare of getting a stiffier assembly? No. Well, it's real. It's a real thing. Okay, you're the only person. That's fine. It's a real thing. <laughs> it's a real thing. <laughs> you helped him, mate. You knew him on Cookie helped. Clev. Richard Keys, why is he a twat? Right, Richard Keyes, why is Richard Keyes uh, a hey, twat? Hey, mate, I, I used to fucking love Andy Gray and Richard Keyes. You know what? Old school, that. I, I was in Thailand last, right, and put the fucking telly on half two in the morning. It was games on, a nice hotel. Yeah. Flamethrowers flat out. Yeah. Stuck the telly on, and Andy Gray and Richard Keyes. On that him. Al Jazeera. Oh, man. Being sports uh, or something. But, like that. Uh, but, for me, they were they were brilliant presenters, and they yeah. got they got ostracised. Yeah, ostracised. How do you say it? Ostracised. Yeah, you're on it. Is it? Am I right? Yeah. yeah. Ostracised. <laughs> uh, you were actually tipped at one point to be the next the next manager of Wrexham. Yeah, the next manager of Wrexham. Would well, you they do it? They give, well, look where Wrexham are now. I know. Maybe. Yeah. Better form this year. Uh, to be honest, we're on the up. Yeah. We're actually on the up and I've been quite militant with Wrexham. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not, <laughs> I'm a fan, yeah. you know, but we're a fan on the club yeah. at Wrexham. Yeah. And you know what? The, t the fan on, in my opinion, the fan on model doesn't work. Right. It's... It worked a bit for Swansea at the time, but then... Ultimately, it just what, when you get too many when you get too many heads meddling in yeah, this. Yeah. Uh, no, fo the football club should be run by football people. People who know their shit, yeah. business. They I know should business. be behind the back of the goal. Oh, yeah, exactly. Business yeah. people. Business they know how to run a business. Yeah, but then you've got you got an Football's example a game, as man. yeah, but you've got an example as Ed Woodward, who's a, who's a businessman. Yeah. Who cannot run Manchester United? He cannot run that club. Yeah, I mean, I mean, feel sorry. Got football uh, apparently, they were processed. Shut the they fuck were, up about United. They were outside his house the other week, weren't they? Uh, I feel sorry for the guy. Yeah, that was wrong. That shit. That shit shouldn't wrong. go on. No, that was mm -hmm. bullshit. To no, be fair, um, I've been asked to ask you a question. Uh, we were speaking outside, having a rolly about. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I had a nice roly. Um, no herbal. <laughs> the old That's herbal right. remedy. Um, brought up Robson <laughs> Cannon's goal. I, I watch it probably once a week, I, I, I think. Yeah. we got the Euros coming up soon. I know obviously oh, England yeah. are in there. I'm glad you Wales brought, are in there. Brought, it's going to so be glad. huge. It's going to be huge, bootlegger. What uh, are your plans for the Euros? Well, I've got an extension going up on the bungalow. Yeah. You know, it's, not, it's, I, all, it's not very high, <laughs> is it? But... Uh, uh, Financially, I'm stricken to get Watch this thing. Watch you But, I mean, if you guys can get me a ticket. <laughs> yeah. we're, we're, I, I actually might. If there, you right? can get to Baku, I have a spare ticket. Will you get me a I've got a spare ticket, ticket to Baku. I'm going to come to Baku with you, Tim. Yeah, but wait. You can come come on, on, if you I want. Like company. <laughs> wait, wait, and sit, wait until you hear how he's got to get there. It's fuck it. It's a oh, nightmare, fuck man. This shit. Yeah, yeah. Sure, it's yeah. a nightmare. So... Um, <laughs> it's, it's not. It's not just flying. It's. I can get you a do. free ticket like that, uh, mate. Well, you're not rowing there, are you? Fucking, I'd rather that, mate. <laughs> Pretty I'd much. rather that. Uh, at the moment, we haven't. We've got the tickets and four spares, which you're more than welcome to have one of them. Well, you, you can fuck. You can come with me, mate. But um, yeah, fly into uh, Tbilisi in Georgia. 
And then from Tbilisi, you get a 12 hour sleeper train. Into, but it's first class, you get your own cabin, air conditioning. Would you like to do first class with the captain? Mate, it's 20 quid. Yeah. 20 quid? Mm. Yeah. What smoking loonies at the fact Fuck I. <laughs> Why not? Smoke what you want, Mr. Blisi. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. it. Well, can we go buy an Amsterdam? Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah fuck. <laughs> yeah, that'd be all right. But, that, but, that's, but that's the thing, like, as, as, as fans like myself, like, I went out to Euro 2016 with Bordeaux, etc., and... We, we've been fucked over massively by Michael Platini's love child idea, who's now gone, where they've spread the Euros around Europe, and it's ridiculous. It's, like, it's an not... absolute fucking disgrace. Exactly, and they haven't thought about the fans. So let's say, for instance, myself, I want to go to Baku, I wanted to go to Rome. Where, where can all these English throw the chairs then? To fucking, I know, they haven't got yeah. Marcel to right, fucking. Carl, you were a big supporter of England fans <laughs> earlier. <laughs> <laughs> where's, where's that going? Oh, no, I, <laughs> only joke, I love the England fans, yeah. Captain. Yeah, you know. cool. But like, I... <laughs> I was going to say. The, the, the tickets, right, cost me probably, for eight tickets, 200 quid, which is unbelievable price, isn't it? But the, the travel will be like 500 yeah, it's, a, it's, a, it's an absolute disgrace what, yeah. what, what them people have done for the, the, the logistics of the next Euros. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. How are you guys, you know, if, we, if England are successful, well, Wales are su- su- successful. <laughs> <laughs> you know, where are you getting that money from? Nowhere, mate. Yeah. Honestly, it's at the end of the day, like, you probably have to take loans out. You have to take loads out, or and, you'll and have to save up pre, a fuck ton. And you're having to pre, pre-plan all this shit. Yeah. yeah. I think it's a fucking disgrace. You don't mind me saying effing, do you? <laughs> We've said it enough so far. It's yeah, fine. Fuck but this shit. Fuck this shit, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If you could, though, you'd be out there, wouldn't you? Fucking right, Captain. I'll tell you, I've got a, an extension going on me bungalow. Um, Five weeks' time, and if I'm financially viable, it'll be, wouldn't it be nice to see the captain in Baku? Oh, <laughs> definitely. And I'd, I'd, I'd watch that. Well, what's your feeling to, from an Englishman? What's your feeling towards the Welsh? Yeah, for me... For you me, said you hate the Welsh and the yeah. Carnaway up. <laughs> <laughs> nah, for me... Didn't he? <laughs> didn't he say... <laughs> seriously. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I, 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 I quote him. He was like, what's a way for me to nicely say I hate the Welsh? I, just, I did... <laughs> <laughs> I did say that. Fair piece. Right. No, what I said. No, what I, I've always been. I, I love the underdog. I love the story. I love. I love the Euros where Wales got to the semi-finals, and I never. I never want Wales to do badly, ever, ever. Yeah. And it's almost the same. It was the same for Scotland as well. You know what? I, Scottish I, hate that. I, I, I'd be the same with England, Ireland, and Scotland. Yeah. Uh, I just used to love. As far as I'm concerned, the British Isles. I want every single person. I want everyone to have a great time. Look, you're you're so similar to me, but you live across the border. I just like, I, I want you I've, to have a good time. I yeah. want you to go I find the whole thing just an opportunity for banter. When yeah, England were playing Iceland, no. if when, England yeah. are playing the Wales, it's a different story. It, when, when England as far played as Wales, I'm. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I support Wales. When I'm England played Wales Iceland well. in Euro 2016, oh. I went to Iceland. Ooh. I went to Iceland. The show. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. See. Oh. That's, that was oh. a that's I, I was doing that. Yeah. But I went. Issue. I went to Iceland. I went to Iceland <laughs> and issue. I bought six plastic bags from Iceland, and everyone, including me, wore them in work for a day to support Iceland. That's my only issue. It's a. Joke, man. Granted. Chill the granted, fuck out. Granted. Granted. If Wales supported England, or, or just just said like, okay, it's punching down, mate. We're you're punching down. We're punching up. I understand that. Look, I'm, I, I, I don't, I don't begrudge Wales doing well at all. I, I want, and you know what? I want, I, want, I, want, I want Wales to do well. I, don't, yeah. I have no problem with that. Well, anyway, we have fan questions. We have, <laughs> we have, we have, we have fan questions coming up. We have fan questions coming up. Gonna have a piss break. Oh we have my fan God. questions. I'm so glad. <laughs> yeah. Right, so we're going to move on to fan questions now. A lot of people wrote in. We've had to weed down the questions. I've got them all here. We're going to start off with at Woody WXM, which I'm guessing is Wrexham, Re- I imagine. Wrexham yeah. Woody. Yeah. He asks, what happened to your soiled underpants in Goa? 
Oh. I, don't, I have no These idea. These are tough questions. I yeah. don't know anything about this. So you so have to the panting goal, eh? That, that was uh, what we were talking before, before. The ring sting the ring goal. Yeah. They were actually... Uh, <laughs> yeah. I took... Uh, let's just say I overdid it. <laughs> Uh, As you well, do. The, well, no, it was an afternoon session walking back to the hotel, and um, yeah, I had I had bad guts. <laughs> uh, to put it if you uh, have you ever been to India? I've never been to India. Yeah. India, no, no, but no, I know no. people who've been to India and the same sort of story. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, mate, I'm coming back from a a nice beach. Going to a nice shack, yeah. um, there's a little alley, and I'm thinking, oh, oh, yeah, you gotta go, oh, yeah, gotta go, yeah. gotta go, baby. Um, I like it over the wall, <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, yes, yeah, flamethrowers there, she's playing holy hell with the captain, <laughs> what are you doing, <laughs> etc. Um, Long, cut a long story short, um, what did you say they were called then, pants? Um, I just heard, what happened to your pants in Goa? Oh yeah, the pants in Goa. They ended up about a hundred yards up the road. Fair enough. Two days later, because everybody was checking the pockets, baby. <laughs> at, at Pride of Mint, or Mr. AFC Clive, asks... Were you born a living legend, or did you grow into one? No, I was just born a goat. <laughs> <laughs> he was born a goat, greatest of all time. Uh, Joe, which is at Jolon Photo, asks, if you were stuck, and this is a big question, if you were stuck on an island all alone, what items would you want? Rizzlers? Yep. Wait, is it three items, or is it any items? Just items. Okay, Rizzlers! Pilsner and a little bit of. <laughs> we won't go into that one. Uh, at uh, Callum1314 asks you, and this is a Scottish guy, he's got a Scottish flag in his username. Oh, proper Scottishman. There you it's go. And I'm sure you can guess what his question is. Are you a fan of the Buckfast, Captain? Well. <laughs> You know I like the Buckfest. You know what you know what they used to do with that Buckfest, didn't it's, it? It's um Buckfest is basically for anyone who doesn't know, it's like tonic wine, isn't it? It's tonic wine and years ago apparently you used to find little bits of toenails in there that used to make really? it more tasty. Yeah. yeah. It was crunched by the monks. It ah. fucks you up, that's all I know about. Yeah. I went up to yeah, Edinburgh. I tell you what, fast. that's all I yeah. know. Yeah, I, I I've been up to Edinburgh once, I had Buckfast, I felt like I was on drugs. Hey, any Scotsman who goes on an away day has the Buckfest in the back pocket. It's an easy way to get pissed. Are you a fan of it? Do you like it? Um, I can't condone getting pissed. <laughs> <laughs> As we've seen. As we've seen, don't put them uh, drinking on uh, no. goalposts for jumpers, of course. <laughs> no, of course goalposts not. for jumpers, I like the goalposts <laughs> for jumpers. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you've got a better setty than what I fucking got, oh my god. <laughs> we've got, I think, this is one of the best questions we received. I was tentative to ask you first. At MJ Gibbo 28 asks you, Shag. Marry or kill Maggie Thatcher, Chester FC. Kill! <laughs> right, so no, we know. No, 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 sorry, we, carry on, sorry, sorry. No, no, sorry. no, we know you want to kill. Uh, so, Shag, Marry, Kill, Maggie Thatcher, Chester FC, or Jeremy Corbyn? Maggie Thatcher. So, well, she's you're killed. Kill. Yeah, you, she's, she's killed. killed. She's gone. Yeah. So you're, gonna, you're gonna kill her again. She's dead again. She's ne she's never to be seen on this planet. Never. So you've, you've got, got to a, marry and shag someone. You've got to marry or shag Chester FC or Jeremy Corbyn. How do you shag Chester FC? I don't well, know, like the press officer or something. No, I'd have to be, and I don't want to say Jeremy Corbyn because I know what. <laughs> oh, that one's inclined, but so you've got uh, to marry Jeremy Corbyn. <laughs> No, I would. I would rather uh, Chester FC. <laughs> You've got yourself in a pickle here. Mm. 
Yeah, yeah by I'll... killing Maggie, Maggie Thatcher, you've left yourself with either shagging Jeremy Corbyn or shagging Chester FC. Yeah. Who are you going to marry or shag out of Chester FC or Jeremy Corbyn? Jeremy Corbyn. You're going to shag him? Shag Jeremy All day Corbyn. long. <laughs> Love it. Right. All day long. Danae at DMZNT1 asks, Bootlegger, how are you such a ladies' man? Because I wear fine aftershaves. Adidas? Know, I wear the Adidas and I've got the Adidas on, baby. And the boot cut <laughs> jeans, baby. I haven't got the Alki jeans on. Uh, why not? Because uh, I'm no longer an Alki. Oh. <laughs> Fair enough. Did you burn them? <laughs> Actually, the Alki jeans were 36 inch waist. I'm now down to a 34, baby. That's something we can all celebrate. Yeah. Love that. <laughs> we can all celebrate that. We can all celebrate that. As a Cardiff fan, can I ask you to do the Ayatollah? How do you do the Ayatollah? By like that. Well, and what does that mean? It's, what uh, does it mean? Do you not know the Ayatollah? But yeah. just no, 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 anyone, tell me what it means. Anyone who's watching who doesn't know it, because I don't know it, what does it mean? Right, so Cardiff's quite unique. We, um, we ask players while the game's still on to do the Ayatollah. So, like, do the Ayatollah, wait and um, And on the pitch, they'll do that. It's a mark of respect. What? A mark of respect? Yeah, there you go. Uh, at Mabglindur10, guessing he's Welsh, by the fact he's got a Welsh emoji in his username, this, everyone wants to know the answer to this question. It's got 10 likes. <laughs> 10 likes, baby. And a lot of it, 10 yeah. fucking likes, wow. baby. That's, uh, that's, no. That is everyone. But a lot, <laughs> that is everyone. Yeah, uh, on everyone. Tuesday night. <laughs> so... Buffy's asks, do you support Welsh independence? Do I support Welsh, Welsh independence? Yes. Yeah? Uh, yeah. And you know why? Uh, and don't turn me in Nazi here, because every, 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 every country should be proud of who they are. Uh, Wales shouldn't be governed. By Westminster. By Westminster. You, 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 exactly. I support it. You know, I'm I'm a big fan of Welsh, but there's arguments for the other side as well. Uh, what have Wales got? We've got goats. We've got lambs. We've uh, got. We are the like sixth highest exporter of electricity in the world. There's that electricity. Yeah. You know what I used to use all my electricity, did not you? What's that? In the attic, baby. <laughs> <laughs> no, only joking. But no. genuinely, though, like, um, myself, like, <laughs> a technician can't end it. Like, Welsh independence, a lot of people, like, see I'm, you as an icon of, like, Welsh I, independence. I, like, it's I, I like, am pro You know you've, what? You've met up with Applied Cymru MP for your local area. I saw yeah, that at the time. And Kenny yeah. Harper is one of the finest, finest independent councillors that I've ever I've ever met you tell me a, a councillor that I come into my local pub yeah. the wee chief yeah. right and sit and meet the captain oh, really? on a Sunday afternoon yeah. right yeah. all the lads all the lads were thinking through I up captain's playing away yeah. you know but you know no we were talking for, I'm pro Wales I feel really bad talking to an Englishman. Fuck right? this English man. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck I'm the minority up here and I appreciate that's fine. No, no you're a nice guy. He, he, <laughs> he literally... He's actually quite a no, nice no, no. guy. No, this he's guy. quite a nice guy. He he's so, he's no, so he, surprised he told that me. I'm an Englishman, I'm actually all right. No! <laughs> this, this, he's English, but... This is here. This he's the right. opposite me. He's, he's no, fine. This, uh, he actually supports Welsh independence because he wants Wales to be as far away as England as possible. Of course, yeah, that's yeah. Right. Of course yeah. I don't believe that. <laughs> okay, we've got another question. Come on, uh, fire these fuckers at me. We've got baby. fucking loads, mate. But this is more highbrow. This is an actual question. At Mick Carr, 1987, has asked you, what is your go-to porn site? What's my what? Your go-to porn site? Go to porn site. Uh, that's, a, that's a tough one. Mature hamster. Maturehamster.com. <laughs> you love your hamster porn. Right. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't I don't know the ins and outs of this, but is that actually hamsters? Is, um, is it, I, that's what I thought. Don't let the flames throw what's this one? Charlie behind the camera knows that it's not hamsters. Mature doggy. Yeah. <laughs> what a question, by the way. Uh, at Deck Andrews asks you. <laughs> Cardiff City or Swansea City FC? 
Both. Wow. That's a diplomatic, diplomatic uh, uh, answer. No, no, uh, because... Uh, you got to choose one. You uh, can't uh, choose both. You know what? I'm a Wrexham fan. It's like somebody saying, come to Scotland and fucking... If I held a gun to your head right now and said, so you have to... I'm not being aggressive. So I'm aggressive just... Aggressive. <laughs> All right, if I hold a banana to your head right now and said, you have to support either Cardiff <laughs> or fucking Swansea, which one would you choose? Uh, both. Both. I'd say pull the trigger, baby. He's unshakable. Like, like, yeah, like, yeah. Be fair, I think we've asked everything that we need to ask you. The only thing yeah. I want to ask you to cap this interview off, Mr. Carl Phillips, bootlegger, been a pleasure. Been an absolute been pleasure. An absolute, no, an absolute, an absolute pleasure. pleasure. What the uh, fuck? You know what? what is next for bootlegger? What is next? What do you want? You know what? I want. A, I don't want another wet ass on the roofs. Yeah. I don't want another wet ass <laughs> on the roofs, baby. But <laughs> no, I don't. You know. It's, so uh, it's, it's to take what we've got now and then move it yeah, on. Yeah. Uh, uh, Captain's too good for. Fucking banging on ridge styles, isn't he? Yeah, what yeah. do you think? 100%. 100%. Do you think I could be, you know, I don't know. I think, right, Gary Lineker, when he retires, there's the man. Yeah. There's the man. Yeah. No, in all seriousness, yeah. though, in all people seriousness. People want to see you on TV. People want to see yeah. you out there in the public. People want, so, so there's, a, right. there's a I market mean, there for bootlegger to be out there. I want I'm a celeb. I want I'm a celeb. Now, so now we've said it, I, w- I want I'm a celeb. I'm a celeb would be decent. But I can't it's, it's dropped from 50 to 1 to 22 to 1 now. 22 to 1, baby. Okay. Yeah, I've Boot got legger. the Adidas on. Get the old Mate. Adidas on for them. Give us a kernel. It's providing. been a fucking pleasure, man. <laughs> <laughs> providing we can do, providing we can do the, the old gazelles on there. <laughs> oh, well, Alec, you're a fucking legend. No. <laughs> That's it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for tuning in to Go Puzzle Jumpers. We're available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts, YouTube, etc. If you, uh, if somehow you haven't heard a bootlegger, he's right fucking there. The guy's a legend. Yeah. And we're going to go get Carl. pissed at your uh, your local now. We're off to and the witch chief. Go pulls for jumpers. I fucking love it, baby. <laughs> Thank you Brilliant. very much for tuning in. We'll Thanks see so you next time. Yes. Well done. Well done. Fucking well done, mate. Room. Well done. <laughs> love that. Brilliant. Cheers, Carl. Nice one. <laughs> <laughs> and you guys did it. Well done. <laughs>